next video I'm going to show you how to add um, data to a PostGIS database from inside QGIS. Um, if you run a PC, um, I have I work with PC for work and I, I have a Mac um, for my personal use. Um, on PC, I, c I was able to get the SHP to PGSQL um, plugin in PGAdmin that will usually... So this is a PGAdmin interface. And if you have plugins installed, they'll usually um, show up in, a, in another, another toolbar right underneath this, this black one here. Um, and then there's one for importing shapefiles, um, which is called the SHP to PGS SQL. Um, however, I ran into trouble when I when I was um, first setting up PG Admin. I was not seeing this plugin, even though it should be included in your PostGIS download. Um, and the workaround for that was. I think it's on PC, you can go to your root directory, not your root directory, but you can go to your, um, to the directory where you installed um, Postgres, so it would be something like C, uh, C colon backslash um, program files backslash uh, post Postgres 9.6, for example, backslash bin and in that bin folder, I believe you should have one called shp to pgsql.exe. It's an executable file. So when you open it, that should bring up a, a small window, which is basically the GUI, the interface for you to be able to upload shapefiles into um, pgadmin. However, on a Mac, it did not work. I was not able to find it, but there is a workaround for that too. So if you're running Mac, okay, I'm going to show you uh, using this example. So I'm in the LA City GeoHub. It's a really good source for geospatial data. If you're not familiar with it, um, they compile information um, for the city of LA and um, it's shapefiles in different formats, um, so I'd really recommend it. Now let me just find, yep. Okay. So let's go ahead and unzip that. Actually, I don't need this. So there is a, if you click into it, there's a shapefile. But you, obviously, you don't want to mess with any of these outside of um, a GIS specific uh, tool. Okay, so let's close that. So let's go into QGIS. Mm, a new one. Okay, so if you if you saw the other video where I showed you how to connect to a database, you've obviously already installed a connection. If you haven't, you can check that out first. So assuming you've already connected, you go to database DB Manager, and then PostGIS, Employee, that was my role, um, in the public schema, I don't have any tables, right? So I want to push tables into this database, and I can do that by doing um, an import from here. So, actually, let's bring the shapefile first, shall we? So if you go layer, add vector layer, you can do that, or you can just pull it from here. So let's go to the data set that we just downloaded. Um, I guess I could do it with that one too, but okay. So there's the shape file. Um, Open it. There it is. This is a shapefile of parks in the city of LA. Um, okay, so now let's go back to the database manager. 
Okay, so now we want to push it into here. Um, Recreation and Parks, that's the name of the shapefile. We are going to call it, when you want, when you have several tables in a database, you want to be, you want to establish a good uh, naming convention for all your data so that it's easier to find, easier to manage. I keep them in a different database and I keep them with the city, starting by the, by the city name, LA City, and we're going to call Parks and Rec, oops, Rec, Parks and Recreation, right? Um, it has a geometry column, SRID, you can set an SRID here. Um, for the city of LA, the SRID is 2229 because that refers to the State Plain Zone 5, um, California State Plain Zone 5. Um, I'm going to leave it empty because for now I, I don't really care. Um, it's going to default to um, 4326 anyways. Okay, so let's hit OK. Import was successful. Close that. So now let's expand it. LA City Parks, what do you know? Okay. So see, that's it defaults to 4326, WGS84. And I have all my data types, the names of the columns I have, um, the number of items I have. So let's let's close this and let's delete this. And let's remove it. And let's bring in a post-GIS uh, layer. So connect, public, and there it is. Um, oh, add. There it is. So if we want to see it in PG admin, you have to refresh as usual. And there it is. In all its glory. So there you have it. That's how you push data when you can't access the plugins.